This is today's workout and it's hamstrings and glutes and here I'm doing leg curls and I'm doing what I call regular lying leg curls where I'm lying all the way on the pad. Um, when I do it this way I usually go heavier. I'm using 40 pounds here and I did 20 reps with this and you kind of want to think about pushing your hips down into the pad when you're doing these. As it gets heavier, it's a little bit harder to do that. But when you're lighter, you want to keep those hips down and really focus on the hamstrings. And I always like to stretch in between, especially if I'm feeling tight. Sometimes I stretch after every set, sometimes not. Just depends, but especially when I go heavy, I like to stretch just because I think the muscle gets tight. And this is 60 pounds. And I did 12 reps with this. And I do two versions on the leg curl. I do this version where I'm laying all the way down. This allows me to go heavier, use heavier weight. And then I do another version, which is a propped up version. And um, I did that in one of my last um, videos of hamstrings and leg curls. It had the t uh, Tabata leg curls in there, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So this is the third set. I'm going up to 80 pounds. So I made big jumps. I did um, 40, 60, and 80. I was feeling kind of strong today. So 80 pounds. You can tell my butt's starting to come up a little bit with the heavier weight. I did six reps with that. And that's why I like to do both versions, the laying down all the way because it does allow you to lift a heavier weight where the propped up version is a more um, focused um, directly focused on the hamstring and it takes your lower back and butt out of it. And after those I went to stiff-legged deadlifts and I started off with 55 pounds and I did 25 reps. And on this first set I'm not using any straps or my belt. And last time I did did my hamstrings and glutes. Um, I did these first and then I finished with with leg curls. So about now my butt's starting to burn <laughs> um, and my hamstrings. So um, it depends on what you do first as to how strong you are and I actually today did my personal best even though I did these second. And on this set, I'm going to use my straps. It's 85 pounds. It's not heavy, really, but I know I'm going to do some reps on it. I ended up doing 20 reps with this. And when you're um, going heavy, you want to use your straps. And if you're going to do a lot of reps, you want to use your straps because a lot of times your, your hands or your grip will start to give out before the bigger muscle. And in this case, it's the glutes and the ha and hamstrings. So um, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't distracted and got some good reps with this weight. So this is 85 pounds and I did 20 reps. Okay, going up to the third set, putting a 35 on each side, that's 115 pounds. I'm going to use my belt on this set. And when I put my belt on, I just kind of put it on and get it tight and then, or snug, and then right before I'm ready to do my set, I tighten it even more. using my straps on this too. So this is 115 pounds and I got 12 reps 
with this weight. And sorry for all the butt shots. Usually I get a shot from off to the right too, but there are people over there, so you guys have to get all butt shots today. <laughs> So it's very important when you're doing these two to keep your chin up and stay arched up. Keep your back flat and make the rotation come from your glutes and not your back. And when you're coming up to the top, you want to make sure you tuck your butt and squeeze your butt too. So now this is the fourth set. A 45 pound plate on each side. And this is actually what I did the last time, but I used just smaller weights, but I wanted to use the big wheels. <laughs> I wanted to use a wheel on each side. So this is 135 pounds. And last time I got eight reps with it. And I wasn't sure since I was doing these second, how many I was gonna be able to do, but I wanted to to do it again because last time it was my my personal best for the flat back version of stiff leggeds so I wanted to at least get a few I got eight last time since I did these second I didn't think that I was going to be able to get as many um, but I thought oh well just gonna give it a try So again, especially when it's heavy, you want to really keep that focus on your glutes and your hamstrings. Your hamstrings aren't contracting, your glutes are, so you're focusing on squeezing up from your glutes. Your hamstrings are getting a really good stretch. And when I got to eight, I was like, oh wow, I was going to do one more. And then I thought, no, I can do another one. So I did 10 reps with 135, and that's a personal best. 10 reps. Yay!